Hello, my name is Rainer Gerhardt. I'm also a slopes design lead. I want to give you a quick run uh, what's required to uh, configure Debian in this example to run a current version of uh, our syslog. So let's start the screen share. I have a box over here that is freshly installed, just like you probably have. Uh, and let's first check which our syslog version we do have. Syslog version. And as you can see, that is 5811, which is really ancient. Uh, that, this is what we had some three or four years ago, and it is uh, uh, featureless and has quite a couple of bugs. Uh, so let's see how we get something decent on that machine. Uh, it's pretty easy because we have prepackaged uh, packages, and all the instructions are on asuslog.com. So let's go to over there. Syslog.com. Here in the current version uh, release, we see that we have 842 uh, as current version, currently no development. And detailed instructions as well as older versions are available here in these packages and older versions uh, uh, section. And it's loading. And we are looking for Debian. Here are the older versions. Here, right on top are the uh, instructions for, for the real distributions. So we are in Debian. And actually, it's more like a copy and paste uh, uh, operation that we have. First, we need to be sure to have the key for the Adiscon repository inside our uh, machine. So what we do is we paste this over here, and we should get one key. Yeah, that is. Uh, secondly, we need to adjust the uh, sources so that uh, the operating system knows what to look for. And we use the stable repository. Copy it over here. If you want to have development, then obviously that's the code to be used. Uh, if you use the I to edit this, you can see sources.lst. And these are all the package sources, and we simply add our ones uh, to the bottom of, of it. So let's just paste over here. So that's the same thing. And then we need to update our packages and also to upgrade. If we are lucky, I guess we won't. Uh, this will do the whole trick. Let's see. So let's see update and upgrade. Takes a short while. Yeah, and now we have a little problem because it, uh, the Arsyslog package has been kept back. This is also mentioned on the website. If you look here, it's exactly the message we had. Uh, some other packages may be listed along with it, uh, if there's some reason. So what we essentially need to do is do uh, install of our syslog to force it to install it. And again, add it paste. And here we go. So it's installing. You see, there's uh, dependencies like, for example, here, the Levi string package uh, or the GT package, uh, which are which used for signatures, uh, are automatically installed when the scissor daemon is started and restarted. And in essence, that's it. So there are two ways to verify. First off, obviously, you can again ask our scissor key for its version. And here we are at 8.4.2. Great current version. Uh, also, we can do a, a Quick check of var uh, log messages. And here we see so it's a new version is installed. Or it has been restarted, and here's the old version that has been uh, shut down. So, and that's it.
uh, that's all you need to do. And uh, no need to do anything else. It's really, as you have seen, a quick two minute, one minute uh, job to do it. So with that, uh, many thanks, and I hope you will use the chance to upgrade your system to use a decent version of our system. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye.